It's finally time to head back north to Kennett Square after closing on this house. I forgot to turn off the water. And that's exactly what we're gonna be talking about in today's video. Some of those things you may wanna think about when you're gonna leave your home for an extended period of time. Or maybe there's another answer and you don't have to think about it. But in any case, let's go ahead and get started. Hey everybody, how you doing? I'm Rusty Nelson and welcome. I'm down here in the villages and if you've seen some of my other videos, you may recognize that the background is not quite the same. That is because I finally bought my house down here in the villages. And first of all, let me say thank you so much to the people that have subscribed. I really appreciate it. And thank you for punching that thumbs up. That always helps. Uh, when you do subscribe, I get some questions about this, people not getting notified. Go ahead and make sure you hit the bell up top uh, that says all when you hit subscribe because that will give you all this all the notices. Anyway, um, you know, I've been down here for just about a month or so, and I started thinking that eventually I'm going to have to go up north. And just from being around here, I started to realize that you just can't walk away from these homes. There are some things you have to do. And that's what I figured I'd do. I'd start putting a list together. And I thought, well, if I'm going to put a list together, I might as well convey some of that to you. And then at the end, I'll kind of let you know um, what actually I decided to do. So as I said before, let's go ahead and get going. And I'll run around with my GoPro and show you where some things are uh, as I talk about them. But let me say one thing. I am not an expert at this. Um, I just moved down here and I'm passing along information that I gathered that I will probably use and you need to do your own research. There's my lawyer's qualification thing or wh whatever. So go ahead and do your own research, but I'll tell you what I found out and hopefully you can pass it along and uh, it'll help you. And also down in the comments, I'm sure there's a lot of things that I'm missing and it would be really helpful to other people if they could go down into the comments and go ahead and start reading things. So let's go ahead and jump out for a second. And we're going to take a look at some stuff I shot just a little bit earlier. I'm down at the Postal Center now. Everybody's got a post office box. And if you look, if you go around, you will see one of these hanging by the door, usually by the door where the postal people go in. You definitely want to make sure that you get one of these filled out so you can either have your mail held or redirected. And I believe the maximum time that they'll do that is 30 days. The water shut off now. I'm sure you were told and shown on your um, walkthrough if you could bought a new place where this actually is. So I'm sure everybody's is in a little bit different spot, but this is it. You just have to get a uh, screwdriver and go ahead and pry that off. And then this is the shutoff valve right here. And that will shut off the water to the whole house. Now, what you want, don't want to do is don't come out here and shut your sprinkler system off um, because you're going to come back and you're going to have a, 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 a brown lawn, that's for sure. So don't do that. What you do is just you're turning off, if you want to do that, the water to the main into the house and that'll prevent any type floods or anything like that. Also, I know that some people on their washer and dryer, they also can, you can turn off the uh, water here. Talk about electricity in a few seconds, but that's another place to think about some water. Now, definitely you wanna make sure 
that you either tell a neighbor to put your trash out or you put it out yourself because that's going to be a stinky mess when you come home. So, don't forget to check your batteries and smoke detectors or anything like that. And they're going to keep talking to each other, but eventually they'll turn off. That's another uh, thing to make sure if your batteries are going to be due while you're gone, change them. As we're working our way down the hallway, these things are a big investment these days. They're like little computers. So what I have done is, if you see, each one of these has its own surge protector, but you better darn well believe I'm gonna unplug those while I'm gone because I don't want any lightning strikes to take out my washer and dryer. Now you can make sure that you run your garbage disposal really quick and a lot of people will throw vinegar down there. Also, there are some things that need to be stay lubricated, so some people actually drop some oil or some canola oil down there. I'm kind of laughing because now you can tell that it's dark outside. I took a break for a second, went and grabbed something to eat, but uh, if you jump off that garbage disposal, go ahead and go right next door to your dishwasher. You want to leave that cracked open and also don't leave any dirty dishes in there because that will be a science experiment for sure when you get back. And, you know, I, I, this is not complete so far. So please, if you have any suggestions, go ahead. Things that you do, put them down in the comments. I'll make sure they get out there. And also... Uh, I will tell you after a few more things exactly what I did, and I'll tell you what, it was uh, makes my life really easy, and you may want to give it a try too. But anyway, let's jump right back into this. The refrigerator, like a lot of this, it depends on how long you're going to be gone. And also, it depends on, I'll show you at the end of this, what I'm going to do so I don't even have to worry about my refrigerator. But basically you want to get anything out of it that's perishable. Remember to do that. And also if you do say you're gone for a short period of time, uh, a lot of people will take out most of the ice, but you, if you do that, you can turn off the water to the ice maker or turn your ice maker off. And you can leave a few ice cubes in there. That way if the power goes off for any length of time, if you come back and those ice cubes are melted, you know the power went off. But definitely take things out of there that are perishable uh, for the duration that you're going to be gone. I'm going to talk about appliances for a second because as you know, and, and if you're watching this from outside the villages, there's plenty of places that have a lot of lightning. So all of my small appliances from my coffee maker to my big screen TV, uh, I, I unplug all that along with my washer and dryer in case uh, there's any problem with lightning strikes. If you're worried about things like your microwave, um, anything else you can, it, it may not help totally, but uh, I've heard of people actually, they turn the circuit breakers off out in the garage if that's what they control. What you wanna make sure is that you don't turn off things that you need to communicate with in your house, uh, such as your internet. Just make sure you don't turn that off so you're not shutting down everything. Now, also something that some people forget, kind of, and I don't have much stuff in here right now because I just moved in here, but if you have a pantry where I have this giant pantry, someday I will have something in there. But if you have a pantry, make sure you don't have anything that'll spoil in there, like you come back and see a potato science experiment when you come back. Mm -hmm. uh, if you haven't done that, you are a genius, but I've done that a few times. If you're one of those folks that has a lot of plants around the house and you need to have them water, so you're going to have your neighbors, remember, if you shut off the water, the main water to the house outside, they're not gonna have water. So you either need to leave them jugs of water ahead of time, 
or they need to know how to turn the water on and off so that they can come get water for the plants. Now, what you may want to do also is if you have a bunch of plants, kind of move them onto a table somewhere or a floor so that they're all together and that way they're not dragging water across your carpet and they're all in one place and they kind of don't forget to water some of the plants. Now your HVAC system, depending on what type you have, you want to make sure you change your filter if you're going to be gone for a while. Uh, it's always good to have a nice clean filter when you leave and you're leaving the house for a while. Also make sure uh, your condensation line is flushed out and you put some hot water in there or however you do your maintenance. Go ahead and do that. And if you're going to be gone a while, if you have a regular maintenance done, you may want to call them and make sure that they uh, are going to be able to get to it or do it for you. Ah, blinds. The big blind question. To close or not to close? Now, this is totally up to you. A lot of people say, eh, I leave them partially open or I close them all the way. Um, I, I have no opinion in this, but if you feel better about closing all your blinds, go ahead and go around the house. Make sure that all your windows are locked while you're doing that. And then go ahead and pull your blinds. If you're the type of person that does some of your own pest control, go ahead. You may want to take a quick squirt around the doors and entryways and go ahead and take a squirt inside before you leave. That way your house is protected for at least a while anyway. And if you're going to leave, make sure you let your bug people know because if they try to get in and you're not there, yeah, you may not get it done that time. You know, now I'm cracking up because it's really dark out there. The crickets are out, the frogs are chirping. <laughs> anyway, um, so I'm going to tell you what I ended up doing. First of all, though, I want to tell you uh, as far as the thermostat goes, and this is really a big one, is that you can't just walk out and leave the house at 90 degrees. You have to keep it dehumidified. So I believe that most people suggest around 78 to 80 degrees. And also, um, I loaded up the Ecobee app so I can set mine. Let's see if I can get it there. So that's, that's the app, and I can set the temperature to whatever I want. And also, I have the app for my sprinkler, so I can tell when they're running, when they haven't run, uh, when it stops running. But... To make it really easy, I, I did all this research to find out all these things, and I started making up this whole list. And then I remembered when I went to the expo that there was a company that is, uh, it's got the village's name on it, but it's actually owned by somebody else, and it's called Empty Nest. And I thought, oh, what, you know, what do I need them for? Well, since I'm doing this video, I went up and I went to go talk to these folks. And I talked to a really, really nice guy, Jim. He's actually one of the guys that goes around and goes to each one of the houses. Now, I had the conversation with him and we covered a lot of stuff. But here is my takeaway from it. I decided to use them. At this point in time, I believe they're $3.25 a day. And what you do is you leave them a key and you have to sign a contract. There's a, at this time, there's a $50, uh, I don't want to say initiation, but a fee to start the service. And you call them ahead of time. You tell them what day you're leaving and what day you propose to be back. Now, what they actually do is, and I'm talking to Jim, and Jim basically said, for the most part, now this doesn't include like cleaning out your refrigerator and that type of stuff, but the main things in the house, that basically you just leave the house. Now, you, you, you got to take care of trash and all that. They don't come do that, but they take care of the mechanics of the house. So you can leave the water on. You can leave the temperature at what, whatever your system's at. They actually come in. And they will do the first cursory thing where they go around, they check all the doors, the garage, 
the trash. They make sure that, you know, everything's the way it should be for you to leave. And then they come back every seven to 10 days and they come through and they will run a cycle through the dishwasher, a short, just a short cycle to keep things lubricated. They'll turn the um, uh, garbage disposal on and off. They'll flush the toilets. You know, they go around and they run a cycle through your sprinklers to make sure nothing's happened to the sprinkler heads. They turn the hot water, hot water, water, hot water heater on or off, depending on what type or off, depending on what type of hot water heater you have. I have an on demand. He says he just turns the button and that's about it. And you also leave them a full description. Um, you, you know, you let them know if there's any certain things they need to do. On top of that, with that service, that's no extra charge. If you have a delivery, you can have things delivered. Like some people deliver things to their office and then the next time they come down, they will actually bring it to your house. If you have like, I, you know, I have an oven guy coming to fix the oven. I won't be here. So he's actually going to be here. He'll meet the guy here. You have them call them and they will uh, meet them here and let them do their stuff on the on the oven or whatever. So they do a lot of things. I mean, the service is great. And then you, um, you know, you tell them when you're going to be back. Now, I, I said to Jim, I said, well, what is one of the biggest things if you wanted me to convey to people? Uh, what is one of the biggest things? He said, please, please, please don't call us at the last second. And don't forget to call us because they don't want to come into your house. They'll announce that they're there. And they don't want to come into your house and have you there or interrupt you when you come back. And they for sure want to know when when you're leaving because they will come the day after you say that you're leaving. Now, that's what I decided to do. And I did. I'm going to do a mixture of the things that I just talked about. In other words, uh, you know, I'm going to disconnect my washer and dryer. I'm going to disconnect some things. Uh, I also have a security security cameras that are connected through my phone. So I know when somebody comes into the house or somebody leaves, I will also leave a key with my neighbors. And uh, that's about it. You know, in other words, you still have to do your post office. You still have to stop the paper, but they will be in contact with you. Uh, I, I don't know how often he said he, they contact you, but he said the first time they come through, they're going to give you a list of the things that they do. Now, I know that there are other companies that do this. Let me say that again. I know that there's other companies that do this. And I think what I'm going to do is um, please put them down in the comments. Let people know what the experience was that you had with them. I'm not going to totally dog everybody, and I'm not going to let crazy comments down there. But, uh, you know, if you found somebody good, then put that on there, and we'll we'll know that they're good. Because there are other companies, there are individuals that do this, and I want to make sure their name gets out there. I just haven't had any time to investigate them. Um, this is uh, the, the property management company. And it's uh, the village's property management company, and the program's called the Empty Nest. And I promise you, later on, I will let you know how that went and uh, what I think of it. I think I'm pretty much done. I know there's other things. Thank you so much for hanging in there. I hope this helps or jogs your memory or makes you think of things. But definitely write yourself a checklist down. You know, paper, mail. Uh, th those type of things, make sure they get done because the last thing you want to do is have 25 papers of your neighbors calling you saying, hey, you know, you got 50 papers out on your lawn. So anyway, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe, put your comments down below and all that wonderful stuff. It's late at night and uh, <laughs> I'm done. I'm cooked. Anyway, thanks a lot for joining me. And I will either see you back here on the videos or I will see you now out in the villages.